How exciting! Maddie contacted me and asked me if I could give her apartment a little makeover. So that's what I'm going to do today. Look how much space there is. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited about today's build because I'm making a pastel pink studio. So initially I was going to just do a room decor build, but then I was thinking, you know, I want to see if I can sort of fit almost everything you would need in a studio apartment. So I'm starting off by kind of going through and seeing what furniture I want to use. One thing that I tried to keep in mind because this is going to be a studio apartment is that the furniture is going to have to be pretty streamlined, like not too bulky. So I could have easily used the cute bed because it's so pastel-y, it's full of frills, but I thought it was a bit too bulky. So I went ahead and used this really basic bed. Um, I think it's called wooden bed and um, I put the pink pizza print on it, which I think makes it look super cute. So now I'm setting up a little living room area, um, kind of like a little lounge area. I'm using this wall-mounted TV, which is one of my favorite pieces in terms of TVs because you get to have like a big screen TV without taking up too much floor space. Um, a lot of the rooms tend to be pretty small relatively, especially if you wanna do a lot of, you know, layouts and decorating and everything. So I love when you can get some kind of functional items on the walls instead. It just, it's just such a good space saver. So I added this workbench here, but I ended up taking it out later because I decided I wanted a little gaming desk and after I add in the kitchen and everything, there just isn't any room for it. So you'll see that disappear in a little bit. I'm using the pink gaming computer because it looks so cute. Um, and then I'm also using these wicker tables to add in some nightstands to the bed. I will be mixing a lot of furniture in this build, different furniture series and things, but I'm trying to make it all work by making sure that all of the colors are pretty light and kind of complementary to each other. That's just how it's going to have to be with these builds because I haven't unlocked enough furniture yet and there aren't even that many furniture sets in the game to be quite honest, so I'm just making do with what I have. So the kitchen was a little bit difficult to do because I don't have a lot of kitchen furniture and a lot of the colors are kind of choosy. So I wasn't super happy with the darker wood colors in the kitchen stuff, in the ironwood stuff that I'm using here, but it does have the white frame and it is kind of the best I can do. Like I said, I don't really have any other kitchen furniture that would work. Hopefully they'll add more to the game, but for now I'm just gonna go with this. It is the cleanest looking furniture, I have to say. I do like that aspect of it. So I wanted to make sure that I had sort of a table that can double as a workspace as well as an eating area. So I did use that two by two ironwood table. I like that it, it has very clean lines. It's not too bulky, like the legs are quite thin and everything's very streamlined. So I thought that was a good piece to add in. Now I'm just adding in some rugs to the kitchen to make it more look more like a kitchen and add some rugs to the bedroom area. I like using rugs to kind of mark out where an area starts and ends. I think it helps keep everything kind of more cohesive looking. And you see here, this is the part where I start moving things around a lot. So I did consider moving the kitchen off to that corner because there is like window and a door you know on different walls you kind of have to work around those and see you know what makes the most sense like i tried to put the living room there which didn't really work so this is just the part where things get moved around a lot I decided to move the kitchen over to this side. I felt like it made more sense. The wall there seemed to be kind of sized just correctly enough for me to be able to fit in the table and the fridge and everything. 
I really like these ironwood dressers. I feel like they make a lot of sense in terms of flexibility. They, they can be used in kitchens, they can be used in rooms. I do like the ironwood set in general. I just wish that they had sort of a lighter wood option, like a white wood option would be awesome for a build like this. But that said, I don't think this looks bad either. So now I'm just flushing out the bedroom, adding a few little accessories. I love adding the tabletop accessories. I feel like that's what really brings the rooms to life. I added a little smoothie machine. I'm adding in some mirror and other tabletop accessories to the kitchen. And then I'm moving over the living room this way because the living room is actually not going to take up that much space. I only really have like a coffee table and the couch. So I felt like it would fit pretty well in that area. I just needed to move around the chairs a little bit to make room so that you can still walk behind the couch and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little cloud rug as well that matches the rug in the room. And then I love this candle set, Mom's Candles. You can customize them and there are so many cute colors and options available. So I didn't really have a lot of bookshelf options. I don't really feel like there are that many bookshelf options in the game so far. So I went ahead and added the wooden bookshelf, but I made it a cute pastel-y color just to add like a little more color to the room. I also added in a poster of Judy. I feel like she's super cute and sparkly and would just really suit the tone of this room. I wanted the room to be very whimsical. And then I'm also adding in that rocket lamp, which is so cute. I also added a little bit of plants around the room. I love the cherry blossom plant in the pot. It's so cute. And then I'm changing out the wallpaper on the laptop to match the bedspread. You can also actually customize the puzzle, which I think is so cute. You can add different patterns and things to it. And I'm just adding a few last touches, a few little decorations around the room. You can actually put stuff down on chairs as well. I kind of like recently found this out. I don't know why I didn't know this, but you can add chairs as tables. So if you find a chair that's small and takes up less of a footprint, you can go ahead and add stuff on top of it. So that's what I did there. I added a little stereo. And now let's add in Maddie. I put her in some cute little loungewear. So she looks like she's having a really relaxing day in her studio apartment. So there's the build guys. I hope you like it. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Even though I didn't love the colors in the kitchen that much, I think they fit well enough to make this build work. And I like that she has pretty much everything she needs. There's um, a nice little relaxing bed here, um, stuff to help her get ready. There's a nice little gaming desk over there. And she looks like she's having fun on the couch, browsing the internet, and she'll probably play some video games soon. The ice cream lamp is definitely one of my favorite pieces and it comes in so many colors. So let me know what you guys thought about this build and let me know if there are any other colors you would like me to do builds of. I've been thinking about doing a rainbow speed build challenge where I try and make builds based on just like one color at a time, like a red build and a blue one and stuff like that. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'll definitely be uploading a lot more speed builds. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.